Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here, and in this video we're going to take a look at the Zotac Firestorm utility using the Zotac Amp Edition GeForce GTX 960. Um, you've got a few features here definitely with this software that allow you to do quite a bit and you'll also see that I have Unigen Heaven up on the right here because that's what I'm going to validate the benchmark with. Um, I've already fooled around with the clocks a little bit on this card, so I know pretty much where it's going to sit. But let's take a look at the utility first. So what you have here on the left is a quick look at the GPU clock and memory clock on um, and what it's running at currently. It gives you the graphs as well. You also get a temperature gauge of what it's running at. Down here you have settings for the utility to launch it on startup, minimize it, overclock it when it launches, uh, whether you make it the trans you can set the transparency of it, and you can synchronize all your GPUs if you have multiples into in the system. So you also have a BIOS button here. The BIOS button allows you to save the video BIOS or flash a new BIOS to the graphics card. Info just gives you your information on the graphics card as well as your driver and BIOS version and everything like that. Uh, pretty much like GPU-Z to some degree. You have a help button that will give you Zotax help on their program. Of course you have the version number of the program up here. Minimize and close as well as the apply and reset. Reset of course means that it's going to put it back to defaults. If we press more here we'll get a pop-up window here which gives us the some other statistics here of voltage GPU utilization, memory utilization, and GPU temp. So as far as overclocking is concerned, you definitely have um, a couple options. You have quick boost for different types of applications, uh, 2D, 3D, 3D plus, anything that you're doing that's really crazy. Um, and you have advanced, which will give you this pop-up and allow you to set the settings however you want. You've got three profiles here that you can set the settings and save to whichever profile you want by clicking one of these buttons and clicking save. Um, I actually, you can see that I have a 62 megahertz boost on this right now. That's what we found the overclock to be um, for this particular card. Not all cards, of course, are equal. You may get more, you may get less. Um, and then, of course, we have gamer setting as well. Um, but what we're going to do here, now that we've taken a, a look at the graphics card, or up the u utility, is I'm going to actually pull up Heaven in windowed mode so that we can run through the beginning of it, and you can actually, I'll show you this uh, graph over here so that you can see what the graphics card actually boosts to. So, it's going to take a second here for all the textures to be loaded into memory all right so we've got heaven running here and I'm gonna actually hit the benchmark button here and then I'm gonna hit alt tab to bring up the firestorm utility so that you can see what's kinda going on here um, you can see it actually boosted to 1491 there and now it's kinda sitting at 1479 and our temperatures going up because it is under load from Unigen so that's kind of cool to be able to see and monitor this. Uh, of course, you can see over on the more the other statistics of the card. And what I'm going to do now actually is stop the recording so that this benchmark can finish running, which takes about 10 minutes. So um, then I will pull it up again when everything is done and I will show you the results. Alright guys, so what you're seeing here is the result of the benchmark after the overclock was done of 62 megahertz on the GPU clock. Now this is running in windowed mode so the result is a little bit less than we got when we tested it before and you'll see in our graphs that it's actually a little bit higher at 40.9 frames per second. Um, if we ran this in full screen mode you would it dedicates all the resources to it and you would be able to get a little bit of a higher frames per second. 
Um, however, there's definitely shows that the card is capable of boosting up to that point. And you can see actually right now, just with this running in the background, it's actually boosting up to 1479, um, even though it's only up to 1391 with the overclock. So I hope you enjoyed this overclocking video. And for the full review, please see www.hitechlegion.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Take care.